first of all, uh, I don't like to talk about the referee. So for me, uh, I always respect their decisions. So um, I think they did well um, because it is always a hard, a hard game to be uh, maybe a referee of uh, of the number one against the number two. Um, about the game, I think we started well. We got some chances, good chances. Uh, then they scored a goal. Um, then the second half, I think we had enough chances again to score, uh, and they scored the second one. So I think the difference between us and them is that they were clinical in the two or chances they had. Only in the last ten, mi ten minutes they got more opportunities because we really went for it to try to score uh, a goal. Hola, buenas tardes, Mr. Eh, Jaime Bay de Mundo Celeste. Y le quería preguntar, y bueno, el partido quizá ha seguido el, el guión esperado con un Castellón dominador de, del juego. Eh, tiene la sensación de que quizá les ha faltado un poco de profundidad o tener ocasiones más claras y si el Ibiza quizá ha tenido más oficio en ese sentido. Yeah, of course. I think the, the first goal, for example, we are in attack and we lose the ball too easy up front. Um, um, there maybe on my players they want to have a, they want to have a free kick. I don't agree with that. I only think we have to sprint back better uh, because it's not the referee's fault. It's a fault that we have to pass the ball. Um, yeah, then I think we give it too easy away. We ne need to defend the box better. Um, so there are a lot of things what we can do better. Um, but I also saw a lot of good things in the way how we play till now. It's game 14, so um, we are on a good way. Uh, of course, the result today is not good, and also against a uh, close opponent. But in the end of the day, we have to see how it is the end of the season. Um, so I'm. It's hard to say that I'm happy about the performance. I'm happy about a lot of things what I see for my team. So and I want to see that uh, in the next game again. So we have to give a good reaction on this bad result. Hola, Mr. Raúl Medrano de IB3 Television. <coughs> ¿Te vas con la sensación de que el Ibiza, es, después de haber jugado contra ellos, es el vuestro máximo rival para ser campeón y, y subir directamente, más allá de, de la clasificación, si te da esa sensación por juego? Um, no, it's not the most hard important, but it's one of the teams who's really good. Uh, I think uh, uh, we are good, Ibiza is good, Malaga is good, I've seen yesterday Córdoba, very good, they come also, so... There are a lot of good teams, uh, even, uh, of course, Antequera lost, but they are very good at home. Uh, they have a really good season also. So, um, of course, Ibiza is good, but it's not the only uh, good team. Um, and, yeah, I, th I just think it's gonna it's, it's really interesting competition. So it will be very hard uh, to uh, win every game. And it will be, uh, I think, very uh, exciting till the end of the season who's going to win the league. Hola, buenas, Dick. ¿Qué tal? Signo Deportivo Radio. Eh, no sé si ha preguntado algún compañero de aquí de Ibiza. Eh, el equipo eh, con el 1-0, luego ha tenido opciones, eh, Gronin ha tenido en la segunda parte opciones para marcar, luego ha tenido también Traoré. El equipo ha llegado y quizás cuando mejor estaba, cuando merecía el empate, ha llegado el 2-0 y a partir de ahí con el 2-0 ya se, se ha acabado porque el equipo da la sensación de que no, no iba para arriba. Gracias. No, I think you're right. I also thought when it was 0-0, we had two, three good chances. Um, but in the end of the day, uh, I think after they scored the 2-0, we were, uh, we lost a little bit the control. Uh, it also, it's maybe difficult for the players because of the tension. Um, but I think till then, we really played uh, a good game and we created chances. Um, we attacked well. Uh, we de also defend well most of the times. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> In the end, um, of course, we lose, but uh, I was also happy about a lot of things what I saw. Um, yeah, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I also saw, uh, I want to thank also our supporters. They are really uh, behind us, they travel. Uh, uh, we are really happy as a club and a team that we have so much uh, attention. And also, uh, I heard back home, there were also a lot of people who follow uh, us. So that's only good. Uh, I think we are on a good way, even if we lose today. Quiero preguntar también por bueno el aspecto defensivo, porque el equipo sí que es verdad que en la primera parte ha tenido opciones, luego ha llegado el el 1-0 que ha dejado algo tocado al, al equipo, pero no sé si te preocupa un poco. Entiendo que también es por el estilo de juego de ir hacia arriba. 
pero la defensa da la sensación de que con el 2-0 ellos han podido meter hasta un par de goles más, eh, hubiera podido acabado, haber acabado el partido un 3-0, incluso un 4-0 en ocasiones que han tenido claras, y el equipo da la sensación de que estaba partido en muchos momentos del, del juego. No, I know uh, a lot of times these questions will come when we lose uh, because the style of play, how we play. But um, in the end of the season, we will see where we are because these questions I also, I also got the year before. I got the year before. I always get like a, as a coach when we lose one game or two or three nil, then everybody start, starts to talk about maybe we have to defend more. But we just we just defend on a different way. So that means that we don't start on our own half, we start on the half of the way, uh, of the team, away team, uh, so far away from our own goal. Um, and it is normal if you get like the 2-0, uh, then you go, you take even more risk, you are not more that good in position on the on the field, so it's also normal against a very good team, Ibiza, that you then get more chances against you.